Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm going to be reviewing the Gammon PD, so pen display, 1161. I'll also be showing a time lapse of me doing this piece of artwork here. And all this was done using the Gammon PD 1161. If you would like a tutorial breakdown of how I produce this and the different techniques, then do comment below. You can also look at my introductory course to hand painted techniques. This along with other free courses can be found on my website, gabbit.co.uk. Links in the description. This particular piece took about three hours and it goes to show what you can produce on these fairly cheap budget display tablets. So it's quite a small graphics tablet. It's 11 inches, well, 11.6 inches across. And uh, it makes it for a tough drawing experience, but if you are a beginner, intermediate, maybe if you, even if you're sort of advanced on a tight budget, then this is a really good tablet for you. At the moment, it's priced roughly around 200 pounds. So that makes it the cheapest display tablet I've seen. So let's take a look at the specs. It's got everything you'd expect, over 8,000 pressure sensitivity levels. The drivers are very good. It's got buttons down the side, but I don't tend to use them if I'm plugging it into my computer. Do remember it's not a computer by itself, it's a display tablet, so it's like a monitor that you can draw on. Like I say, I'd prefer to use my keyboard next to me because then I don't have to program them all, but they are programmable, uh, which is good. And you've got your pen, which is uh, programmable as well. Um, it's a bit squishy, the pen, but uh, that's the same for all these sort of budget tablets, should we call them? Uh, compared to the Wacom, which is obviously the expensive brand. It's not a Wacom killer by any means. Uh, Wacom Cintiqs, uh, you're looking at about £2,000 compared to roughly £200. So there's a marked difference. And the, the difference you will see uh, will be not so much in sensitivity levels. Uh, the response rate is good on both. I'm not noticing a lot of difference between them, uh, but it's the um, parallax, as they call it. So the screen thickness, it's very tough, uh, but you can sort of, your cursor is a little bit away from your pen when you're drawing, which makes it a tiny bit awkward compared to a Cintiq, which is really tight. And that's really nice. The other downside to this was the calibration. I noticed that when I went to the corners of the screen, the calibration was slightly out. So my mouse was slightly away from my pen and where I thought it would be. So I've been using this for the last three hours. I'm used to a Cintiq. And that's the one thing I noticed that was the big issue. But I was still able to produce this piece of artwork. You just had to be aware of it when you're going to the corners of the screen. It's not a massive problem, especially if you're a beginner or intermediate, like I say, on a budget and you are saving a huge chunk of money from the Cintiqs. If you're a professional using it all the time, then obviously a Cintiq is for you. The resolution is 1920 by 1080, and that's absolutely fine when you're working on this small area. The colors are nice and crisp, and it all looks good on the screen. The pen is wireless, so you don't have to worry about plugging it in and charging it up. What you get in the box, you get your leads, your pen, your pen holder, and as always, the pen holder has handy nibs inside, so you can unscrew it and get to those. You've also got a glove, two types of plugs. For me, it was European and obviously the British standard, the three pin plug. Now it doesn't come with a stand, so you'll have to get yourself a stand like this one here. I think this one was about 10 pound from Amazon, so nothing too expensive there. Now in terms of the drivers, I'm always really impressed with Gammon. They do really well. That's often a massive problem for the budget graphics tablets and pen display tablets, is that you have to spend ages restarting and looking up drivers and so forth. This, I went to the site, downloaded the latest drivers, and it all worked swimmingly. Now, because of the size, they do suggest it's kind of portable, and I suppose it is. You could put this into a laptop case quite easily, and it's quite easy to set up and plug in to a laptop. In terms of how it feels, it does feel very comfortable. There's no line wobble. It copes with straight lines well. Now, lots of these budget pen displays have a very shiny screen, but this one's got a slight matte finish and it actually feels a lot like my Wacom. So should you be getting a pen tablet over an ordinary graphics tablet? Well, I would suggest it is a big improvement. You can move your arm around much easier as you would if you were drawing on paper and your hand-eye coordination, it's easier to manage. So you can be a lot freer in your artwork without having to rotate the canvas and things like that that you would with a normal graphics tablet. I found that the speed of my workflow has greatly increased since I've used a pen display tablet. So would I recommend this? Well, I certainly would. Looking at the price, around £200 or $200-ish, that's exceptional. And you can try it out, see how you get on, 
But even for the intermediate artist and the professional on a budget, I would say this is still a great piece of kit. So that's my review. Thank you very much to Gammon for sending this to me. And until next time, I hope this helps.